Muslim women between 18 to 35 years of age are more prone to human trafficking. According to Unisik Sembo, the head of the Trafficking in Persons Coordination Office in the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Of the 151 rescued, 138 were intercepted at Busia border, 3 at Malaba, while 10 at Entebbe International Airport. Of these, 35 cases are under investigation. Traffickers are also increasing using guardianship orders for their trade, with most of the young children's body parts ending up in organ markets. Whereas Uganda passed the Trafficking in Persons Act in 2009, the practice continues unabated, largely due to lack of sensitization of law enforcers and ordinary Ugandans. Trafficking in persons is, it mainly uh, manipulates the ignorance of our people and the economic vulnerability sometimes of our people, but sometimes also manipulates the gullibility of our people. Ugandans are constantly trafficked to the Arab world, Thailand and Malaysia for slavery and sex work in an illicit global trade estimated at over $70 billion. The law, among others, prescribes a death penalty for convicts. Kisembo cautions Ugandans against private companies promising them GSA jobs abroad. It is a duty of everyone to find out whether this is a licensed organization, whether this is a licensed labor recruitment body. Law enforcers and volunteers have undergone a four days training on the application of the Trafficking in Persons Act 2009 conducted by the Platform for Labor Action in a government organization promoting safe working conditions. We've also trained them to then reminding them on their roles in prevention, protection and supporting victims of, of trafficking. Networking between government and private agencies will be instrumental in abating the problem of human trafficking. Tiawasatumba Abubakali, NBS Television.